This book right here is a gem. It's a gem. The Kitab. Kitab is Arabic for book. So the Book of Adam. From the most authentic records of antiquity. The Book of Adam. All right. Diving right in. The most authentic records of antiquity, which have come down to us, state that Adam was created on Friday afternoon on the hour of Usr. The four most exalted angels, Gabriel, Michael, Israfil, and Israel, were commanded to bring from the four corners of the earth the dust out of which Allah formed the body of Adam, all save the head and the heart. For these he employed exclusively the sacred earth of Mecca and Medina, from the very spots on which... In later times, the Holy Kaaba and the and the spirit of I can't say that word of Muhammad were erected. Uh, even before it was animated, Adam's beautiful form excited the admiration of the angels who were passing by the gates of paradise, where Allah had laid it down. But Iblis coveted man's noble form and the spiritual and lovely expression of his countenance, and said, therefore, to his fellows. How can this hollow piece of earth be well-pleasing in your sight? Nothing but weakness and ferality may be expected of this creature. When all the inhabitants of heaven, save Iblis, <clears throat> had gazed on Adam in a long and silent wonder, they burst out in praise to Allah, the creator of the first man, who was so tall that when he stood erect upon the earth, his head reached, the, his head reached to the seventh heaven. Allah then directed the angels to bathe the soul of Adam, which he, which he created a thousand years before his body, in the sea of glory which proceeded from his mouth, and commanded her to animate his yet lifeless form. The soul hesitated, for she was unwilling to exchange the boundless heavens for this narrow home. But Allah said, Thou must animate Adam even against thy will, and as the punishment of thy disobedience, thou shalt... Thou shalt one day be separated from him against his against thy will. Allah then breathed upon her with such violence that she rushed through the nostrils of Adam into his head. On reaching his eyes, they were open, and he saw the throne of Allah with the inscription, "There is one, there is one God and Muhammad." <clears throat> excuse me, with the inscription, "There is one God and Muhammad is his messenger." The soul then penetrated to his ears, and he heard the angels praising Allah. Thereupon his own tongue was loosed, and he cried, Blessed be thou, my creator and the only one, the eternal. And Allah answered, For this was thou created. And thou and thy descendants shall worship me, so shall ye ever obtain grace and mercy. The soul at last pervaded at all limbs of Adam, all the limbs of Adam. And when she had reached his feet, she gave him the power to rise. But on rising, she was, he was obliged to shut his eyes. For the light shone on him from the throne of the Lord, which he was unable to endure, and pointing with, and pointing with one hand toward it, while he shaded his eyes with the other, he inquired, O oh Allah, what flames are those? It is the light of a prophet who shall descend from thee and appear on earth in the latter times. By my glory. Only for his sake I have created thee and the whole world. In heaven his name is Ahmed, but he shall be called Muhammad on earth, and he shall restore mankind from vice and falsehood to the path of virtue and truth. So this is why I say the Mahdi's name could be Ahmed, because, because of this stunning evidence right here. Move on. All created things were assembled before Adam, and Allah taught him the names of all beasts, of birds, and of fish, the manner in which they are sustained and propagated, and explained their particularities and the ends of their existence. Finally, the angels were convoked, and Allah commanded them to bow down to Adam as the most free and perfect of his creatures, and as the only one that was animated by his breath. Israfil was the first to obey, whence Allah confined him to be the... to once Allah confined to him the book of fate, the other angels followed his example. Iblis alone was disobedient, saying, With disdain, shall I, who am created of fire, worship a being formed of, a, of dust? He was therefore expelled from heaven, and the entrance of paradise was forbidden to him. It was forbidden him. 
Adam breathed more freely after the removal of Iblis, and by command of Allah, he addressed the merits of angels who were standing around him in praise of his omnipotence and the wonders of his universe. And on this occasion, he manifested to the angels that he far surpassed them in wisdom and more especially in the knowledge of languages, for he knew the name of every created thing in 70 different languages. After this discourse, Allah presented him through Gabriel with a bunch of grapes from paradise, and when he had eaten them, he fell into a deep sleep. The Lord then took a rib from Adam's side and formed a, wo and formed a, a woman of it, whom he called Hawa, Eve in English. For he said, I have taken her from, from high, the living. She bore a perfect resemblance to, to Adam, but her features were more delicate than his, and her eyes shone with a sweeter luster. Her hair was longer and divided in to, into 700 braids. Her form was lighter and her voice more pure and soft, or more soft and pure. I'll just be reading ahead of myself. While, while Allah was endowing Eve with every female charm, Adam was dreaming of a second human being resembling himself. Nor was this strange, for he had not seen all creatures which had presented to him in pairs. When therefore <clears throat> he awoke, he found Eve near her. He desired to embrace her, yet although her love exceeded his own, she forbade him and said, Allah is my Lord. It is only with his permission that I may be thine. Besides, it is not meant that a woman should be wed wedded without a marriage gift. Adam then prayed the angel Gabriel to intercede for him with Allah that he might obtain Eve for his wife and to inquire that marriage gift would be demanded. The angel soon returned and said, Eve is thine for Allah has created her only for thee. Love her as thyself and treat her with indulgence and kindness. The marriage gift which he requires of thee that thou shalt, shouldst pray 20 times for Muhammad, his beloved. Who, whose body shall one day be formed out of thy flesh and blood, but whose soul has dwelt in Allah's presence many thousands of years before the creation of the world. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, come back to it later. Not later, but very soon. Because that right there is basically Genesis. Like describing all of, not all of Genesis, but the very beginning of Genesis.